Hi, my name is Georgianne. I will be one of the technical producers for Wikimania 2020 fully online on the Remo platform. This short tutorial will be going over the features of the platform, what key things you need to know in order to be successful and have a great experience during Wikimania 2021. Once you've logged into the platform that we'll be using for the event, which is Remo, you will come to the networking mode of the platform. In networking mode, we have a few functions on the map. If we start from left to right, you will first see the elevator, the transportation banners, the tables, the menu bar, and the informational banners, as well as the account settings. Now I will go into each feature one by one. The elevator is used to transport an attendee from floor to floor. You simply click on the floor that you would like to go to and you will be prompted to go to that floor. And then you could go ahead and click yes to go to another floor. All floors during the event in a specific building are identical. So no matter what floor you go to, you will have the same setup, banners, as well as functionality. Next, in order to engage in the event, you'll be placed at a table upon joining the event. To move from table to table, you simply double tap on the table you'd like to move to. If you're unsure where you are on the map, you can go ahead and click this where I am button at the lower left corner. Upon clicking that button, it'll let you know where exactly you are on the map. And from there, you can move around by double tapping table to table. While at your table, if you see another person on the map and you'd like to invite them to your table, you simply control click or right click on their name and a drop down will come down. You'll have the option to send them a message or get that person. When you click get that person, they will be prompted with a notification to join your table. If they accept the notification, they will then be able to join your table. When attendees join your current table, you will hear a knocking sound to let you know that someone else is now at the table. Additionally, when you join other tables, you will also hear the knocking sound to be aware that you have joined another table. If your screen resolution does not allow you to see the entire map, you can simply click, hold, and then drag up and down or side to side the map in order to see more of the map functions. Periodically during the event, there will be announcements sent out to everyone in the audience. You will be notified that this announcement is happening by hearing a ding. Once you hear that ding and see the notification pop up, you know that there is something to read and an action to take. After reading the announcement and taking the action, you could go ahead and close the announcement. Now, we would like to move on to the menu bar. On the menu bar, you will see the camera, mic, chat, share, whiteboard, and quit event features. The cam and mic allow you to turn on your mic and camera by simply clicking those buttons. Then you could go ahead and turn off your mic and camera if you are not currently engaging. Once your camera is on, you will be able to toggle view from tile view to floor view where the attendees at your table become larger or smaller. Additionally, if someone is talking and you'd like their view to be larger, you click on their tile icon and that will be become bigger. If you'd like to make it smaller to go back and engage with the map, you click back to floor. There are three different chat styles that happen during the event. If you click on the chat box, you will then be able to search a person's name in the chat, or if you need tech support, Simply type in the word tech support and you will find multiple tech support representatives. The second way to communicate is through the public chats. We have the general chat that will go to everyone in the event. And we have the table chat, which is just the conversation amongst you and the other attendees at your table. Please be aware that if you leave a table, you will no longer get messages for that table until you return to the table. And lastly, we have the private chat where you could send private messages to other attendees during the event. Your private chats are not recorded for public usage or by the admins. 
only you and the other attendee you are speaking to will have access to the private chat. Your entire table will have access to the table chat and everyone at the event will have access to the general chat. If you would like to share your screen, you go ahead and click share screen, select this window or screen you'd like to share, and then it'll pop up for you to be sharing on the screen. When you are finished sharing, go ahead and either click stop sharing or the share button again for it to go away. The last feature we have on this bottom menu is the whiteboard. In order to access, you click on the whiteboard button, then click see the board, and then you can collaborate and co-create with other attendees at your table. Simply drag elements from the left banner button in order to bring it to the whiteboard. You can bring various things to the whiteboard, such as URLs, as well as iframe embedded videos from places like YouTube or Commons. When you are finished with the whiteboard, if you would like to take it with you, you have to hit the export button at the top of the screen near the Miro logo. In order to export, the whiteboard has to be logged in under a Miro profile. But in order to interact with the whiteboard, you can do that as an anonymous guest. When you're finished with the whiteboard, go ahead and click the X in the right corner in order to close the whiteboard. Now, we would like to move on and discuss the transportation banners that are on the left side of the screen as previously mentioned. The transportation banners allow you to move from building to building during the event. As this event will be running across six different buildings, you will need to use the banners in order to transport. So for this example, we will click on building two, then it will pop up to say to join building two, we click enter and our page will reload into building two. Now we are in building two and we'll be able to identify that by the label that is in the top center of the screen. Now we would like to discuss the informational banners. These live on the right side of the screen. When you click on these banners, you'll be able to access content, links, videos, or images. Each banner will contain a different piece of important information regarding the event. During the event, you may change your profile in order to create a mini business card. In order to edit your profile, you want to go up to the letter or photo icons in the top right corner of the screen, click on that, select my profile, edit profile, and you could complete your virtual business card with as much or as little information as you like. Additionally, you could upload a photo of max 512 kilobytes. After completing these changes, you may select save changes. Now we will go into presentation mode. When the presentation on the stage is about to begin, there will be a countdown for 30 seconds. During this countdown, you will still be able to see and talk to the other attendees at your table while wrapping up your conversations. When the countdown gets to zero and we go into presentation mode, you will lose access to your camera and your mic, as well as being able to directly interact with attendees at your table. You will still have the chat functionality to continue conversations there. Now that we are in presentation mode, I will show you what it would look like the day of the event when you're watching the presentation. The presentation will begin to play on the screen and you can engage with the different buttons that are available. This is how the presentation mode will look. You can use different emoji reactions. You can chat in the general chat. You can see the list of participants through the right side of the screen, as well as submit questions during the Q&A opportunities in the Q&A box. If you have any questions about any of this process, please reach out to us and we will be able to support while the presentation is happening by going to the chat, going back from the general chat, and again, searching tech support. Now we will revert back to networking mode. I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you to better understand how we will be using the Remo platform for Wikimania 2021. If you have any additional questions or concerns that you would like addressed, simply email wikimania 
at gsdsolutions.xyz for tech-related production questions. Thank you very much.